thank you, thank you for clicking on. Tonight, you guys, like I promised, I'm going to give it to you guys. Tonight is going to be Q&A questions. So you can get to know me a little bit more, you know. So grab your popcorn, grab your snacks. Honey, grab your snacks. So it's going to be Q&A questions. Um, some things you can get to know about me. So let's get right into it. Okay. So y'all come on, like, and subscribe and, um, I'm about to pop right into it. Okay. Thank you. Um, first question, the perfect job or the perfect relationship? Hmm. My perfect job. I answer both of them. My perfect job would be. I really love interior designing. Yeah, I, I love decorating. I really love, I really love decorating. Um, so yeah, so that probably would be my perfect job for me. You know, just anything dealing with decorate, being creative. I love that. I love it. So in the perfect relationship, um, if they are, but I'm asking both of them. Are the perfect relationship um somebody i can communicate with um fully you know the perfect relationship and we know there's no perfect relationship but if it was perfect honey <laughs> he will have a million dollars he'll be rich okay he'll be able to fly me wherever i want to go honey <laughs> that would be the perfect relationship and don't let me leave out but also, most importantly, rather, um, he is in tune spiritually with the Lord, okay? With the Lord. <laughs> so, that to me overall is the perfect relationship. Someone that is in tune with itself, with the Lord, and um, know who, where he comes from, and believe in a higher power, um, which is <laughs> the man upstairs. Okay, our Heavenly Father. So that will be the perfect relationship. Um, unconditionally, agape love. So, number two. Have you ever cheated on an exam? Have I ever cheated on an exam? Um, <laughs> yes. Okay. I mean, it wasn't just me. It was like a group of us, you know, and... You know, it was kind of like, hey, I got the answers. I was like, you need, you need it. They was like, you need it. I was like, yeah, I need, I, I need that answer. <laughs> Let me see it. So everyone was pretty much getting it all around class, you know. So, hey, but yes, yes, I have. Not happy to say, but yeah. <laughs> um, Do you? believe in karma um i believe that if you do something to somebody and um i believe in the lord i believe in higher power so you can't just do something and think something you're not going to get it back so with that being said i believe that yeah something will come back around if you do something to somebody so or you hurt someone so yeah uh um number four do you believe in love at first sight do you believe in love at first sight um yes <laughs> i have actually experienced love at first sight before you know didn't work out but I've experienced love just because it didn't work out don't mean you didn't love them. So yes, I do believe in love at first sight. You know, it could happen. It could happen. It could happen. Okay. So number five. What's your favorite candle scent? What's my favorite candle scent? Hmm. I have many. Um but Mm, favorite now I would say 
I have it over here too. It's a uh, champagne toast. I love that one. Champagne toast. I was looking at champagne toast. And also I like this strawberry. Bath and Body Ricks, honey. Okay, strawberry lemonade. Okay, and a unicorn. The unicorn smells so good too. But yes, but uh, champagne toast smells wonderful. Okay, yes. Um, let's see. Would you rather have an American accent or a British accent? Hmm. I like, I like the way British people sound. I like their accent. I feel like if I had their accent, um, I'm I'm trying to mimic mimic it now. But yes, a British. We're gonna go watch telly. Okay, mother, would you like some tea with your biscuit? I, I'm trying to do it. I I can't. <laughs> I'm not that good, but I can a little bit. You know. I gotta study a little bit, just a little, just a little British. I love British, and I don't you know, but anywho, but yeah, I think British. I think they, you know, especially me, they sound so mm, sexy, okay, sexy. <laughs> but yeah, British. Okay, I would rather have a British accent, but I love my American accent. Don't get it wrong. Okay, moving forward, moving forward. Next. Um, short hair or long hair? Hmm. Now, okay, your girl like to change it up. Anybody that know me, I like to change it up. Short, long. I done cut all my hair off before. Yes, I have put all my hair off. Mm hmm And then I grow back. But, um, I don't know. I like long hair. I don't know. If I had a choice, I love me some long hair, some bundles, honey. Some bundles, I'd be like, honey. Yes, it is her. It is it's it's her. She's here. She's here. Period. Yes. <laughs> um. Next, let's see. Do you wear makeup every day? Hmm. Actually, no. I wouldn't say I wear it every day, but. Majority of the time, yes, I like makeup. I love makeup. Anybody that know me know I love makeup. But no, not every day. You know, some days I just need a breather. But you know, cause some days I don't go nowhere. So yeah, but that's the answer to that question. <laughs> but if I, I do love makeup, um, are you a shopaholic? Hmm. Well. <laughs> A girl loves to shop, okay? A girl loves to shop, okay? Mm. Yeah, so, I mean, I know how to take her business, but, yeah, I do love to go shopping. I do, I do. But I know I know how to take her. I know when to draw back, so. I don't know. It just depends on what you mean by the shop the you know? I mean, I'm not going to take bill money and, you know. <laughs> okay, so next. How many Instagram followers and pictures do you have? I actually just looked. So I have, I don't have that many. So I just have like 818. I know compared to y'all, yeah, I probably have a whole bunch, but I only have like 818. But pictures, I have like 1,206. Yeah. I have over a thousand pictures on my Instagram, so yeah. Next, how often, how often do you cut your nails? Hmm. Not often, but you know when they get kind of janky, you know when they get kind of janky, I do. Now I do wear acrylics. I do. I do wear acrylics. I just don't have them on right now. You know, and I'm not, I'm not the my nails too, but I do like to get my nails done. But since this quarantine is going on, I ain't been getting my nails done. But, you know, you know, I just really cut them if they need to be cut. But, yeah. Let's see. How often do I cut my nails? Just when they need them. So, that, that'll answer that question. Um, What's your pet's name? So, I don't have a pet. 
but I love dogs, small dogs, not, I, do, I love all dogs, but not big, big dogs, because I just get overwhelmed, like, yeah, so, <laughs> um, if I had a dog, my dog name would be Pinky, for some reason, I, yeah, yeah, Pinky, I don't know, because I love pink, so, maybe Pinky, I don't know, Pinky, I like it. <laughs> Um, quality you look for in a partner. Quality you look for in a partner. In a partner, I'm sorry. Um, someone that actually knows their self. Someone that actually, you know, is affectionate. Not afraid to be affectionate because some guys are just too, you know, um, qualities, you know, I want someone that in tune with herself and, um, very spiritual. Yeah. Very spiritual. Um, someone that that's going to go to work. That's going to, you know, no, Hey, that's going to get these people. Okay. That's a quality. That's a very important trait. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, you know, someone that's just a real man, you know, good morals, you know, um, someone that knows how to love and how to receive love. And, um, yeah, I don't ask for too much, but yeah. Okay. Um, the last thing that made you cry. Wow. Well, the last thing that made me cry that I want to think I am an emotional creature I'm icy so uh, it could be in the uh if I would say like a real emotional cry I mean that's when you might ex when I'm saying this that was like a real bad cry and I would say when this pandemic started to kind of hit the fan, I probably shed a couple of tears. Like, I just kind of got a little overwhelmed. I think I may suffer a little with anxiety, you know, at times because I was just unsure, but, you know, like what was going on, you know. But I believe in the higher power, I believe in the, in, in the Lord, our Heavenly Father. So. But I would say, I, I wouldn't say that made me cry like that, but like a real, like, tearful cry. It was me and my fian ex fiance broke up. That was like, yeah, I was bawling. So when this pandemic hit, I was just kind of like, I guess just sad, you know? Yeah, but that's the answer to that question. <laughs> um,. What profession do you hate most? Profession that I hate most? Um, I would know. Let's see. Hmm, that's a good question. That I hate most. I mean, I guess I don't like people that have to work on the streets like when it's cold like like i be feeling so bad for the people that works on the streets you know you know like um putting um pavement even though it's helpful because we need that to drive we need that to to live our daily life but i be feeling like dang it could be so hot or it can be so cold and they are outside you know in it with they got on clothes and stuff but it can be so hot you know i'd be like dang so i don't know if i would like that profession that profession would not work out for me you know and so i just be feeling bad for them but i know they make a good good amount of money but i i probably would hate that type of profession yeah People that works on the street, you know, construction workers and all that. They, you know, they deal with all type of temperatures and the weather. So, yeah. Um, 
have you done any oh okay have i had any um surgery like um cosmetic surgery no i have not had any cosmetic surgery but i am looking forward to getting um weight loss surgery i want the vsg the um where you get the the sleeve um i want that soon like some hopefully this year or the beginning of the next year so yeah i am looking forward to getting that I feel like it would be a very helpful benefit for me. And, um, yeah. Next question. Um, short guys or tall guys? Hmm. So, your girl done dated them. <laughs> Honestly, I have dated short men. I don't date tall men. But, if I had a preference, tall men, honey. Hmm. 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 Mm -mm. Tall man all day long. Okay, it's just something about when you can look up and be like, "How you doing?" Yes, it's me you're looking for. Mhm. Mm okay, yeah. So I just daydreaming, but um, yes, tall man. Yeah, most definitely. Um, proudest moments in high school. Ah, proudest moments in high school. Um, there are a couple. It's a proudest, well, I guess the proudest moment in high school. Hmm. Probably when I, when I graduated, you know, um, yeah, when I, when I graduated and, um, walking across that stage, like, that was, one of the proudest moments, you know, actually finishing um, with no issues and, you know, so many girls get pretty. I mean, I was a virgin to high school anyway, but, you know, the fact that I made it through without any of that and not having sex, being abstinent all through high school, you know, okay, so, yes, um, Let's see what's next. Would you date your best friend? Uh, do I even have a best friend? Well, I don't necessarily have like a best friend. I have a couple of friends, but um, no, cause my best friend will be a girl. I have a lot of girl friends, so I don't have a guy friend, but if I had a guy that's a friend, no, I wouldn't cross the line. I wouldn't cross the line. Um, yeah. Because I think that would just mess up our relationship. You know what I'm saying? That, that would definitely mess up the chemistry. So, you know. Would you consider yourself romantic? Oh, honey, yes. Very romantic. I remember when I was dating uh, my ex, like, back in the day, like, um, for his birthday. I, uh, it was his birthday, and I uh, he went to work, and when he came back home, I had this big old thing planned. I um, had hearts all around the apartment and on the wall. And I actually cut out dum dum. I could have just went and got some paper hearts and stick them up. But no, me, no, me. I had to draw them. I had to be drawn and then place them on the wall. And then I put 21 reasons. It was, oh yeah, it was 21 of them. 21 reasons why I love them. Yeah. So, and so it was cute though. It was really cute. But he actually had a way. That's another story. That's a story. Like, it was so cute. Um, and the one that I was telling you about. Chicken out of spray. I learned how to make a chocolate martini. Like, it was just too cute. Yeah, he didn't deserve it.
but yeah, I'm very romantic. Very, I can't. Very romantic. I love it. You know, I love it. And I love being, being getting romance. Don't get it wrong. I love it too. So, please. <laughs> um, what's in my purse? My right in front of me. Okay. This is the purse that I'm carrying. As you can see, I got a plethora of purses over there. And then more in my uh, closet. In my purse. So I have a lot of purses. But what's in this thing that I'm actually carrying? My jewelry bag purse right now. Um, this is my wallet that I'm carrying. Yeah, so a lot of junk. <laughs> My debit card, some papers on my cars, well, on my car, um, some business cards, uh, debit card, um, yeah, some business cards, some more business cards. Yeah, that's what's all in here. Papers and business cards, and my debit cards. So, that's in my wallet. And, let's see. I have a little purse that I use to put like my makeup and lip gloss in and stuff. So I have some powder. I have a little mirror. It flips open like this. So I had it. I have some lip gloss. Um, yeah. Two different lip glosses. I have an extra charger, you know, you can't go nowhere without your charger. Um, some wipes, you know, you gotta stay fresh. I got some hand sanitizer. <laughs> Corona is real. <laughs> um, but I got the other kind. Because it's, like y'all say, some people say, oh, that's bad and battery. It don't have that much in there. But, yeah, it's still a good job. Done. Mm -hmm. um, but I got the good stuff in the car. Um, I got my other phone that I'm trying to get fixed. So I can vlog until I get a camera I have some more lip gloss or well, lipstick that needs to go in my other little purse and I have some knee cream for my knee it's supposed to help help it because sometimes I'll be having knee pain and I have a whole bunch of quarters and nickels and dimes change you know i always gotta have some extra change um oh, i will have a back to my uh, charger and oh and some gum so yeah that's what i have in my bag yeah and i think that is all of the questions yeah but you guys that is my video and i hope you guys like this video because i got more coming for y'all i got more coming for y'all y'all let me know i want to hear from y'all y'all let me know what y'all want to see you know y'all put it down in the just get down in the comments yeah in the comments let me know send me a message let me know what you like what you want to see you know, because I want to do a little of everything. I want to do mukbangs, um, interviews, um, brother or cousin uh, questionnaires and answers. Um, I want to do some everything. Pranks. So, y'all let me know what y'all want to see next, okay? You know, this is this channel is for us. So, we can talk. We can talk about it. story time. Honey, because <laughs> I got a lot of stories, okay? <laughs> a lot i'm 32 years old i have a lot of stories all right so don't worry okay don't worry don't worry just let me know what you want to see next and you know like please like please comment and subscribe to this channel i am tawana rashan yes you guys and i'm so happy you guys came tonight i'm so happy you guys are watching so you know, join the family, join the gang. You know what I'm saying? Because we going to bust it out. We going to do it, okay? And I'm so excited. And y'all have a good night. And I will talk to y'all later. Stay cute, stay blessed, and subscribe. Bye.